there are a couple of things that I've been developing kind of behind the scenes in secret on my channel. So you guys do know that I do make my own straps and I do uh, have been stropping a little bit more because I don't have time to sharpen my knives every single week. And so let me just show you guys a few things that are happening. So this was the original strop that I made. It's a nine by three by nine uh, square block or rectangular block with very hard corners. And I did, you know, double, double sided straps, uh, leather, which was great. These have been awesome. And, uh, I love them. They have, they've worked really well for me. I still use the original one that I made. It's still in my studio and I have one in the house as well. And then this is 1.0 strop 1.0. And then this one here was strop 2.0. I lengthened it by one inch, so this is a 10 by two and a half. And then I made another revision of it with the round corners. So this is essentially 2.1 right here. And it's using a red oak instead of a, this one was using maple, which, which, which was great. But I found that the red oak actually warped less if you ever got you know, water on it. So, and it was, it was also a little bit lighter, a little bit more expensive, but it was a little bit lighter. Um, I think it was a little bit lighter, but uh, so this was 2.1, which is a rounded edge on a three or two and a half by ten inch strop. These are pretty much my current ones right now that I'm still selling. I'm uh, that I've had sell been selling for like the last few months or so. And then you guys know that I started really experimenting, and I, I went to a tempered glass. So the tempered glass uh, are my latest. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to call it inventions, but my latest creations. Um, they're awesome, and the reason why I went to tempered glass was because they are 100% flat, and a lot of people were asking for really flat plates. Uh, the wood is pretty much flat, but uh, over time they can warp, and that's really not a huge problem for most people. But for those who are doing straight razors and those who are using a micro sharpening film, though, which I use uh, the 3M sharpening film, which is awesome. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will post a link to that as well. Those films uh, really benefit from a perfectly flat plane. And so that's why I was using tempered glass. I did use the uh, aluminum plates. That may be my original uh, design. Though I was using aluminum plates and those were great except they scratch really easily and if you drop them, they scratch and they dent. And also they, um, they, they had to be polished by hand. Uh, so I get them out of the factory or I send it to uh, one of my polishers and he charges me like 10 bucks to polish a plate. So it wasn't really feasible at the end of the day after the polishing costs on the aluminum plates, they were $25 a piece. These were 22 bucks a piece for the tempered glass, so they cost less, and they were perfectly polished out of the factory. So they worked a lot better. Uh, in the last couple of months of me making these and selling these, um, I've had two people complain that they have broken theirs. Uh, they all happened from shipping. So um, I just, you know, I, I, I didn't charge them anything to send me them, send some new ones. But um, so it, they do get damaged because they are glass. You are going to risk uh, either you dropping it or your US Postal dropping it. Um, so that's happened twice in the last, like I said, last couple of months of me making them. So I kind of started digging and trying to figure out how do I make this better? How do we improve upon this design right here? So this came today, uh, or these came today. So I'm gonna show you what they are. <gasps> Look at this. <laughs> Carbon fiber. Oh man, they are beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Yes. Oh. This is Perfection Strop 4.0. So we're taking all of the perfect flatness and smoothness of the tempered glass, putting it in a carbon fiber package. It's virtually virtually indestructible. You can, uh, you can't even bend these things. You can drop them, they won't break. I can ship them anywhere across the world and the postal folks can throw them all they want. It will never break like, you know, like uh, glass will. So, I'm switching all of my materials to carbon fiber. I mean, this is awesome. <laughs> so nice. Uh, so nice. I am, ooh, these are beautiful. So yeah, the reason I chose these, uh, you know, this material now, because obviously if you guys aren't aware of carbon fiber, it's virtually indestructible in daily normal use. Uh, this here, it's super, super thick. You can put a hammer to this and I'm pretty sure it won't break. It's also, uh, you know, all the corners are nicely finished and uh, chamfered and cleaned up. Uh, so it's got the same dimensions as my tempered glass, but, but it's indestructible. Uh, they do cost, 
Uh, they don't, well, they do cost a little bit more, but you know what? It's actually worth it for me because then I don't have to deal with any sort of things breaking. Um, I won't have to worry about these uh, breaking when they're being shipped. So for me, um, the quality of carbon fiber and being able to have a strop that will literally last, or the base of a strop that will last a lifetime, to me is worth it. So I will be putting these up for sale. I made uh, 50 of these, so not a whole lot. Uh, they'll be up in my Etsy store, uh, which I will leave in the link uh, below. So you guys can just you know check them out on your own time. Um, and the, also the reason I went with these is because you can either put leather on them or for those who want to use a non-leather option or my vegans, I know I have a few subscribers who are vegans, you can use the microfilms. Um, so I actually am testing some new microfilms uh, that I will be updating hopefully in the next month or so. Um, I'm testing some stuff that is going to make it really easy for people who want to strop and get some really nice result on their knives. Like I said, it's gonna be a permanent fixture in my studio. I'm gonna change up all my straps. That means that all of my other straps that I've made, I've made a dozen straps uh, that, that are preloaded, uh, that are th the three by tens that I'm gonna to have to give away. So if you guys want some straps that are done by me, made by me, and used by me, um, they're actually in really good condition. Thumbs up if you guys like a giveaway on straps, and uh, let me know if you guys want one in the comments, and uh, I'll see what I can do.